much, much, much more advanced now than what it was when I was a youngster growing you know? up. How I build stuff, I use the old with the new. You understand? Because if you're coming from somewhere, you, you, you must know where you're going with it. You know? I used to build smaller stuff, what sounds as good as bigger stuff. So, you know, it, it depends on what the customer wants, what they want to hear, and what sort of sound you want to reproduce. You, know? you just move the boards them around to do whatever you want to do. There's nothing, nothing to me can take away when you get a bit of wood and put it on the, the machine and cut it and just hear it play after. You know, you know you've created something, you know. Um, there's, there's nothing to me what I enjoy more than making a speaker box and actually listening to it play. There's nothing else, nothing at all. No, not even a woman. The way nothing Hill to, today is um, within my corner now, it's been regrown and you get na different nationalities now coming in to hear the, the, the music of Rastafari. Dub and Roots, UK Roots music, has attracted a wide, diverse audience now. Back in the day, it was strictly black people. It was a black thing. You know what I mean? It, you know, the, you, there were a few occasional white brothers there, but it was dominantly a, a black oriented thing, you know what I mean? You know, the people that come to dances now, I, I mean, you go to sessions now, it's, um, it's multiracial. You know, everyone's there from, you know, whether you're Swedish, but Spanish, any, everyone's there. So, and I'm looking at that as a good thing because, you know, now it's not a black thing anymore. It's a, it's a, it's a worldwide thing now. Yeah. Rasta Messi spreading universal, international. Music, bringing music is big all over. And it's, it's getting, you know, I'm glad I'm, it's getting bigger. That's how, that's how I want it. I think it saved all the people in England. It made, it made them be able to sell their records more and help them press more records, you know what I mean? Otherwise, I think if you have to rely on England, you'd finish. You could, you could not exist, because in England, people don't like reggae no more. It's kaput, kaput, apart from maybe Bashman. You know what I mean? Reggae really is not very big. It's more, the youngsters like, don't like it. They like more hip hop and garage and whatever, you know? But in Europe, different, different, different. They love reggae, I don't know why. Just, I'm glad they do though, you know what I mean? We're not really an English sound, we're a European sound. You know, more I emphasise that, that a sound system is a product of 
well, a, a reflection of the environment in which they're living in, yeah? So if we was living in England, we would be an English sound, but we're living in Europe, you know what I mean? It's in our veins, bless. You know, you know, uh, we live and love sound system, you know. It's not like a hobby we pick up at weekends and things, you know. We live it and love it. You know? If it's not box building boxes, it's traveling on the road, going somewhere to set up the box to play, you know. It's a complete liberty we are dealing with. You know? Promoting the music all the time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, this thing is slowly becoming, well, it's fastly becoming a worldwide thing now. You know, and all we can do is take the positives from it and, and guide it in a direction where it it's, covers the whole globe, man. And that's what we need to understand. Yeah. Don't know reggae music live on and this this Rasta message carries on and it won't stop, you know what I mean? So it's all it's all a vehicle. It's all a vehicle and it's a journey, it's a road and the music is carrying you. And it's, there's a beauty in it, you know, to be a part of it still. So.